Man, this is really not a video that I wanted to make, guys. I mean, this shouldn't be a video that anybody would want to make on their channel because the only reason you would make a video like this is if something really, really bad happened. I mean, Dokkan-wise, of course. And that's exactly what happened to me, guys. Uh, the past month or so, basically, the entire duration of the 300 million download celebration has been a rough, rough time for your boy Tiger. And even though I admit it has been a great celebration overall as far as free to play stones go, as far as new events go, as far as free to play units go, and uh, as far as banners go, it's been a great celebration, one of the best we've ever received. But as far as personal summons go, as far as my own summons, my own stone expenditure, all that stuff, it's been one of the worst experiences in my entire gaming career. Not just Dokkan, just playing games in general. One of the worst experiences I've ever had. And um, yeah, like you guys saw in the title, man, 6,000 plus stones. Over 6,000 stones. Actually, I think the final count that I spent on the celebration, we'll get into the specifics in a second, was something like 6,500 stones without pulling two, two of the new units that I really, really, really wanted, guys. The AGL LR Gohan and the physical LR Androids 16, 17, and 18. And um, the funny thing is, I was planning to make this video last night, right? But maybe it's a good thing that I waited because things got a lot worse last night and it was kind of the perfect ending i guess the perfect cap on this despair arc of the 300 million download celebration um basically what happened i'll just tell you guys right now is uh i was having a bit of a rough night you know just uh personally was going through some issues right and i wasn't feeling too hot and i was like you know screw it i mean you should never open up a gacha game when you're upset right or you're angry or just not feeling good right but i did it you know, didn't control myself, opened the app, I was like, man, feeling really garbage right now, but if I if I pull one of the units I've been wanting for this entire time, I think it would make me feel better, which wouldn't have necessarily been the case, maybe it would have helped, but it was a stupid reason, right? And, but I did it, did a multi, got nothing on the LR Androids banner, and then I, I did another multi, did another multi, said, told myself I would stop at 600 stones, told myself I would stop at 500 stones, and then, you know, 10, 15 minutes later, I had 14 stones left. I started that summoning session with 1,014 stones. So, yeah, last night alone, I rage summoned 1,000 stones. Didn't pull anything. Didn't pull anything. Not even a new LR. That's pretty indicative of uh, how the celebration overall has been, guys. And before I proceed any further, before I keep talking, um, I'm going to tell you guys right now, this is not a info video. It's not going to give you any insight into the game. This is really just a, a story time with Tiger, all right? It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a story video. It's a rant video. It's a getting things off my chest, off my mind video. And uh, if you guys were expecting some kind of insight to learn something about the game, actually, you might learn something, but not really like about the mechanics or anything like that, uh, then this is not the video for you, so keep that in mind as you keep watching, all right? Uh, what I want to do is just create this physical record, or not physical, I guess, but a record of my experiences throughout the celebration uh, to have on the, on the channel so that um, I can remind myself in the future, you know, if I ever get shafted again, well, I will, I will but... You know, if I get shafted pretty bad in the future, uh, I can come back to this video and just remind myself, yo, no matter, you know, how bad you just got shafted, there's always a way it can get worse. It always could be worse. Right now, it's pretty much as bad as it gets, and it's as bad as I'm ever going to let it get when it comes to this game. Uh... <laughs> Oh man, and also actually uh, another hope for this video is that it'll help some of you guys who got shafted as well during the celebration, either whether it's uh, the Gohan or the Cell or the Androids, you know, um, to help you guys realize that yeah, you know what, even though 
Uh, you got shafted, even though you spent a lot of stones, didn't get what you want. Unless you're a mega whale, like on truth's level, there's a good chance that I got shafted harder than you did, and by a pretty significant margin. So uh, there's, there, you know, it could always be worse, basically. So don't feel too bad. All right, we're all in this together. The shafted clan, hashtag shaft gang. <laughs> Just made that up, it's not a thing. But uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's been bad, guys. It's been bad. So hopefully it can help some of you guys as well. But why don't we start from the very beginning? As you guys already know, I just told you. Uh, spent a thousand stones last night. Uh, got nothing. Perfect cap, perfect ending to this 300 million downloads, the spare arc. But let's take it back to the beginning now. With the beginning of the 300 million download celebration, I'll take you through the entire event, guys. And uh, you'll understand why I feel the way I currently feel, which is not so good. I mean, I know it's just a gacha game, but uh, it's, it's a game that I invest a lot into. It's a game that I spend a lot of time playing. It's a game that I spend a lot of time making videos and content and thinking about on a daily basis. So uh, yeah, it does hit me pretty hard when something like this happens, you know? But from the very beginning, uh, even before the 300 million download celebration started, you know, there was the live stream. And uh, I actually hosted this live watch party on my channel. I watched it with a lot of you guys. There were like almost 2,000 people in there at one time. So uh, it was a good time. We had a lot of people in there. And we watched it together. They revealed the Gohan and the Cell Duel Dokkan Fest. And it was exciting, guys. And when I saw that Gohan, when I saw the animations, I was like, oh my god. That's got to be some of the best... I mean, the Gohan animations, at least, some of the best animations in the game, man. That 18 key super with when he transforms, uh, with Goku, the father-son Kamehameha, absolutely glorious, right? Like, pretty much picture-perfect compared to the anime. It's, it's like the same thing, except it actually looks better than the anime used to, because the anime is old, right? Um, but yeah, it looked amazing. I was like, yo, I want this guy. And this is before I even found out about how restrictive his transformation um requirements were gonna be right but even after i found out i was like you know what i don't like that I, I don't like how restrictive it is but i still don't care i still want this gohan he looks amazing he represents one of the greatest moments in the entire series like just overall z dragon ball super gt so on and so forth it's one of the greatest moments in the, in the entire franchise right so i really wanted him and uh you know fast forward now to the day the banners dropped that night i started a stream as soon as the banners dropped i was there with my girlfriend and we did some dual summons together and i think i spent about 800 stones yeah that was the beginning 800 stones on the banners collectively um i think maybe five or six hundred of those were on the gohan banner so i only spent about like two to three hundred on the cell banner and didn't pull anything i mean I, I did pull a few featured units but i didn't pull cell or gohan my girlfriend pulled gohan actually relatively early maybe like second round of multis and i was happy for her i was salty but i was like, you know what that's cool yo congrats babe happy for you even though i didn't pull anything in the stream i mean how bad could it be right like i'll do a couple more videos maybe and then eventually pull the gohans i wasn't too concerned you know taya my girlfriend got the, the gohan and i was happy for her i was like good for you that's awesome i'll get mine soon but little little did i know <laughs> little did i know it was never to be guys it was never to be so after that i did a couple of collabs with some some other youtubers jinro uh had my first collab with truth uh my boy tune rami the guy that makes my intros and uh i think i did some solo videos as well at least one or two i think um and collectively over those collabs i spent well over a thousand maybe 1500 stones and uh nothing guys nothing so at this point i'm at about you know 2000 stones or so deep this this crazy despair arc man of no lr gohan pulled right um and there was a bit of a bright spot in, in the middle uh that collab with general actually allowed me to get my lr cell so i was happy about that and as soon as i got the cell i was like no more I'm not summoning on the lr cell banner so i just stopped there i think in total i spent about maybe uh, 400, 500 stones at most on the LR Cell banner, and then the rest of my resources were diverted towards the LR Gohan banner, right? And uh, yeah, at this point we're at about, about like 2,000 stones deep, and this is 2,000 stones with three plus one discount, right? So it's a lot more multis than your average like regular 50 stone no discount banner, right? So that's also a thing. Um, 
And then after that, I was like, you know what, man, I really want this Gohan, but I've been putting out a lot of videos recently. I don't know if people want to see this. So I started doing off camera summons, guys. I started summoning off camera, doing 50 stones here, 100 stones there. And uh, those off camera multis, man, added up to maybe like 500 plus stones, something like that. So at this point, we're at like 2,500 stones. And the crazy thing is, I, I pulled a lot of featured units, guys. I rainbowed almost every single unit on the LR Gohan banner, right? Okay, for context, I started the celebration with not a single Gogeta Blue. Right now, Gogeta Blue has three dupes in him. So, Blue Gogeta is almost rainbowed for me. I, I had none of him. Uh, I pulled enough STR Ultimate Gohans to rainbow two copies. <laughs> I pulled multiple copies of Vegito Blue, who I had rainbowed before the celebration started. Um, I pulled some Int Gohans. I pulled, uh, I think, enough transforming Vegetas to almost rainbow him. Um, like I said, man, almost everything on the banner is now rainbowed. But I don't, I, I just do not have a single copy of the AGL LR Gohan. And it's, it just blows my mind, man. It just blows my mind. And. I still, don't have, I still don't have him right now, obviously. I wouldn't be making this video if I did have him, if I just like pulled him off a random multi off camera. That'd be it, I'm like, okay, I'm good, I'm done. But, okay, so at this point, we're around like, around like 2,500 stones, maybe a little bit more, including off camera summons. And then the LR Androids banner rolls around, part two of the celebration starts, and um, they revealed, of course, in the in-game news that the LR androids are coming, and a lot of people I knew were not super hyped about this, man. A lot of people were really hoping for the LR instant transmission Goku, because we had those unused assets, it just makes sense in the context of the celebration's theme, and all that good stuff. And it turned out to be the androids, and people were very disappointed. People were like, oh, man, I'm not hyped anymore, skipping, not using my stones. But when I saw that, I was like, oh crap. Oh damn, that is hype for me, man. Because I freaking love the androids, but even more so than that, I love Android 18, guys. And if you didn't know, Android 18 is my favorite female anime character, period. Uh, yeah, as far as like waifus go for anime, yo, Android 18 is number one, right? There's no no character that comes close. And it might, might be a weird thing for me, Does, don't worry about it. Alright, we'll maybe talk about that in a future video, but... The point is, I really, really wanted this unit. Like, so, so bad, man. As soon as I saw that, I was like, I need this unit. I, I need them. I, I need her right now. And that sounded kind of weird, actually. Um, we're talking about a JPEG, of course. The point is, I wanted the LR. And I made a post on Instagram. No, not, was it Instagram? No, I think it was on Twitter. And I was like, yo, my entire Dokkan career has led me to this point, man. All the, the shafts, all the glory, all that good stuff has culminated into this moment where they are releasing a summonable LR Android 18. I mean, there's 17 and 16 too, but my focus was on the Android 18, right? And I was like, there's a summonable LR Android 18, which is probably going to be really, really, really good. And I got to have it, man. I will do whatever it takes to get this unit. But little did I know that it would take everything. And even after that, I will still not get her. And, and this thing, after the whole LR Gohan fiasco, right? All that, that huge shaft there, I was like, yo, come on. Like, it's, it's time Dokkan threw me a bone, right? Like, they gotta give me some kind of some pity rates or something, right? I mean, I know it doesn't exist, but just. Statistically, I was like, it's time. It's my time to, you know, get some luck, man, and redeem myself after those awful, awful LR Gohan summons. And um, when I first started, I was like, you know what? I'll start with a couple hundred stones. I think I had like 300, 400 stones. I was like, okay, we'll start with that. Start, start easy, all right? And hopefully that's that's enough. I did the collab with Jinro, 150 stones each. Did not pull a single LR. Not a single LR in that collab. Jinro pulled three in a row, funnily enough. Um, it, it, when you're collabing with someone and it's so one-sided like that, it's really, really rough, man. It's uh, not a good time because you're sitting there being like, yo, I just freaking pulled a physical rebrand and nothing else. And then you got your friend over there on the other side getting fusions, getting Herculon boos, uh, getting all the animations, pulling LRs left and right. And uh, yeah, so that was not a fun time. Even though, I, yo, I love collabing with Jinro. Really great guy, but still, dude. 
uh, that was not a fun collab to be a part of in that in that moment, right? Um, and then after I waited a little bit, I was like thinking about how 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 deep I actually want to go, and I decided, yo, I really really want this unit, man. I gotta get this unit. I already made a commitment to getting them. I pulled out my wallet, right? Pulled out that credit card. I was like, we're doing this, man. We're doing this. Went ahead and picked up 2,000 stones. 2,000. 2,000 stones. More stones than a lot of people will ever have at one time, right? Um, and I was like, yo, we're, we're going in. We're, we're getting serious, man. No more playing around. We've been, we've been messing around before this with a couple hundred stones here and there. Nah, that's over. We're doing this right now. And I uh, got my girlfriend back. I was like, Taya, yo. Your, 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 your nickname on this channel, a lot of people call you Android18. Um, mainly just because she's like blonde. It's not really like she actually looks that much like Android18, but her moniker on this channel is Android18. So I was like, I'm, br I'm bringing my own personal 18. I uh, have this Android18 pop as well. So basically all the Android18 luck is on the channel, right? Like I brought as much as I possibly could to give me a chance of pulling this, this, this unit. And uh, going in, I was like, yo, I'm gonna spend about 500 stones, all right, in this video. I'll save the rest for other stuff. About 500 stones. And uh, by the end of it, I had spent 1,300 stones, right? Turned out to be my biggest single summoning video, like as far as stones spent ever. I spent 1,300 stones in that video. And, and I can't say it was like a complete shaft because I actually managed to rainbow my LR Gohan, the uh, Int one, not the AGL one of course, the Int LR Gohan in that video. And um, I guess I was like somewhat happy about that, but after spending that many stones and going for something else, you guys gotta understand, man. Even if you're pulling good stuff, if you're not getting the unit that you really, really, really want, the one you're going for, the main one. It still is rough, especially after spending that many stones, right? So that's that's where I was at at the moment, at that time. I was like, uh, man, like I'm happy about the Gohan pulls, but any one of those Gohans could have been an LR Androids, and it just wasn't, man, it wasn't. And uh, I also pulled enough tech Android 16s to rainbow a second copy, even though going in, he was already rainbowed for me. But that was also a little bit, uh, anger inducing I guess or what's a better way to put it uh, it pissed me off <laughs> it also pissed me off that 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 except that thing with the Android 16 like I don't know what that was um, and I'm thinking about it right now I'm like yo they're not nice trolling me man they, they, they're trolling me because think about it I, I was I wanted nothing more than the AGL uh, LR Gohan right before in part one and they wouldn't give it to me, but then they won't stop giving me the Int LR Gohan. They're like, yo, you want LR Gohan? Here's LR Gohan, man. I actually managed to pull an extra dupe off camera after that, uh, that I didn't need anymore. It's actually the first LR that I pulled that I couldn't do anything with. So there you go, man. Like Bandai being a troll, Bandai being a troll, but what else is new, right? <laughs> um, and then from there, from there, uh, I spent pretty much the rest of those stones in a collab with my boy Scott Herman, Oh the Hermanity. Uh, he actually came into town just like impromptu visit uh, for a photo shoot for one of his sponsors and we met up in a mall in Toronto and we did the summons. Uh, he managed to pull a dupe <laughs> of his LR androids um, and a couple other LRs actually. I think in the collab overall we spent like 300-400 stones. He pulled like four or five LRs. It was pretty crazy. And I did not pull a single LR in that video. And the funny thing is, actually, in my part, I accidentally did two multis on the LR Gohan, like the AGL LR Gohan banner by accident, because I thought I was doing the LR Androids banner. And then freaking Blue Gogeta popped up, and I was like, what is going on here? Like, how is there a Blue Gogeta right now? And then, of course, it turned out that I was summoning on the Gohan banner by accident. So then a few more stones were, you know, invested in that banner. Still no Gohan. It would have been actually really crazy. It would have been really awesome if Gohan popped up instead of Blue Gogeta. And uh, I would have been like, yo, that is that would have been the greatest mistake ever. But nonetheless, I still got the Blue Gogeta dupes. Not too mad about that. Um, and then, uh, you know, from there, I was like, maybe I'm done. Maybe I'm done. I'm, I'm now like 2,000 stones deep on the LR Androids banner. And... Not a single LR Android. If I pull another LR, it's probably just going to be another LR 
int lr gohan right i mean there's two lrs featured right so chances are i'm just gonna pull the int lr gohan again um so i, I was like you know what? i'm gonna stop but then uh i decided that i should pick up another thousand stones just to be prepared for uh you know other banners in the future like i think the namek transforming goku is probably next on global and i want to be prepared for that so i went ahead and picked up another thousand stones which was a really dumb, dumb idea because I should know myself, man. I'm not good at holding onto stones. I'm really not good at holding onto stones. So I should have just waited until the banner actually came out, until the, the Androids banner went away, until the LR Gohan banner went away. But I didn't. I did not do that. I did not do that. And I uh, picked up the Thousand Stones. Did a pretty good job of just staying away from the banners for a couple days. But uh, then last night happened. Yeah, last night happened, wasn't feeling so good. Started summoning, couldn't stop. It's like sometimes when I get into these like modes, it's, it's like a trance, I'm like not even there. I'm like just in this other dimension. It sounds like I'm on drugs or something. I'm, I, I promise, I wasn't high, okay? I wasn't on drugs. It's just, I get into this mode where I'm literally summoning and I can't stop summoning until I get what I want. And uh, last night, that just didn't happen, man. That just didn't happen. 800 more stones. 800 more stones on the LR Androids banner, 200 more stones on the LR Gohan banner, and these are just rough numbers. Uh, well, last night I know, like for, fa for a fact, that was the, those are the numbers, but uh, some of the numbers I said before might be a little bit rough, uh, you know, rounding up or down by 100 or 50 or something like that. Um, but last night I spent a thousand stones, still didn't get LR Gohan, still didn't get LR Androids. I should have stopped way before because. My, my, my boy Scott, okay, Scott Herman, he has a good theory about this. He's like, if I don't pull the unit I want within the first, like, 300 stones, I know that I'm probably not going to pull them. It's probably not meant to be, and I should just stop. And I should I should, I should listen to that, man. I should have listened to that, because I wouldn't be here right now. <laughs> I wouldn't be in this situation right now if I had listened to him. And, uh, you know, there's nothing you can do about it, man. Regrets, right? Like, in life, you sometimes do things, and... Uh, What's done is done, man. You can't really change the past. You just gotta focus on the future and try to improve and try to not repeat the same mistake, right? So that's where I am right now, guys. Uh, when it comes down to the final tally for the celebration, um, I have spent over 3,000 stones on the AGL LR Gohan banner, mostly with 3 plus 1 discounts and then about 500 to 1,000 off discount. Um, and I'm not, I'm not even like including singles. There, there were times where I did like 10 or 20 singles in a session just because I saw a friend pull an LR Gohan or an LR Androids off a single. Uh, I'm looking at you, Spite. Spiteful Hopes, the BBS YouTuber. You know, this man showed me his singles for LR Gohan and uh, LR Androids. He pulled two LR Androids within like 20 stones on singles. Um, yeah, those, those instances also got me to do some singles and waste some more stones that way. But, uh,. Yeah, over 3,000 stones for the HLR Gohan and over 3,000 stones for the LR Androids. Not a single copy of the LR Androids and not a single copy of AGL LR Gohan. And um, a couple days ago, actually, I, I spent my gold coins because I was like, you know, after all these summons, I got to get something that I actually wanted, right? And uh, I ended up buying my first LR Goku and Frieza, which was also a big shaft that uh, I had for a while, but not, not, not to this degree. I think maybe I spent like 2,000 stones collectively um, on banners that had him and, uh, you know, he didn't get him, but it was not nearly as bad as this experience here. Uh, but I was like, you know what, I've, I wanted him for a long time. They allow me to run a new category. They're also just stupidly good. So, you know, threw down the 500 coins, 500 gold coins, got them. People were telling me I made a mistake. I was like, dude, by the time that the LR androids become available through gold coins, trust me, I will have enough to buy them again. And right now I'm halfway there already. I literally had zero gold coins uh, a couple days ago after I bought the, the uh, Goku and Frieza. And now I have 250 gold coins, guys. And I have over 600 red coins even though I bought the uh, Fizz Broly, my first copy of Fizz Broly, recently with the red coins. So that goes to show how many coins, or how many stones, that I've spent over the past week, two weeks, or so. And I think I'm gonna stop now. I think this is the point where we stop, guys. I don't know how long this video has been, probably very, very, very long. 
But this is something I had to do, guys. Something I had to get off my chest. I, uh, I'm sorry if it was boring to you, but this video is really more so for me than for anybody else. And like I said at the beginning of this video, at the top of this video, this celebration actually has been great. Uh, it has been one of the better celebrations, one of the best celebrations, in fact, we have ever received in Dokkan, no question. But sometimes, when you get shafted this bad, it's hard to enjoy something like this, right? So even though, events-wise, even though new units-wise, it's been good, uh, I'm always going to look back on the celebration, the 300 million download celebration, with um, a lot of anger. A lot of a lot of resentment, a lot of sadness, because that's what this celebration brought me, man. And people are talking about a potential part three, and in my mind, I'm just like, God, no, please, no part three. I just need the celebration to be over so I can move on with my life, guys. All right, all the money, all the stones, all the the pain, the depression that it's caused for me, it needs to stop. And the only way I can start moving on is for the celebration to end. So. Uh, I believe the login bonus ends in about six days or seven days, about a week or so, and uh, that's when part two pretty much ends, I think. And I pray that there is no part three because I cannot deal with a part three, guys. All right, I really, really can't. Um, I need to, <laughs> I need to move on from this six thousand stone shaft, and uh, yeah, I mean, that's that's all you guys say, man. That's that's just what's been on my mind. Uh, yeah, yeah. <sighs> it's been rough. It's been rough. And you guys know me, man. I've, I'm usually always a super positive, super happy guy, but for, even, even for someone like me, who is generally very positive, very, very upbeat, you can't stay that way forever when something like this happens. You really can't. In the face of an event, a catastrophic event like this, yeah, it's uh, it's impossible to stay that way. So <laughs> that's pretty much my story, guys. That's pretty much my story. I got nothing left to say. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video in some way, even though it might have been super long, super rambly. I told you guys, I warned you guys in the beginning of this video that I was gonna do that, right? And uh, hopefully the next banner on Global is gonna be a good one. And um, yeah, I mean this 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 celebration really tested the limits of. Just how much I want to play this game. It really did. Like, out of all the shafts I experienced in the past, of which there were a lot, this is the one. This is the celebration that really tested my desire to continue playing this game. And there was a brief moment, as as brief as it was, as, as it was, it did happen, where I contemplated quitting Dokkan just because of how depressed I got after how much money and how many stones I spent not pulling either unit. Over six thousand stones, guys. The six thousand stone shaft i would be hard pressed to believe there's someone out there who i mean i mean the truth went like eight thousand stones between like copies of the uh tech lr go one frieza right but that's after he had pulled already like what four copies he was looking for the last copy right so i mean that was bad but i think in a lot of ways this is worse <laughs> I don't know guys, uh, I've talked enough, I've talked enough, that's all I want to say, hopefully this helps some of you guys who went through shafts as well to help you feel a little bit better, and uh, I'm sure I personally will come back to this video in the future to remind myself that no matter how bad things got, no matter how many stones, how bad the shaft was for future banners, it could always be worse man, you've been through worse, so it's gonna be okay, and yeah, that's all I gotta say, if you guys watched the video up until now, you're the real MVP, you guys are the true fans, I really appreciate you. And, uh, you know, feel free to comment anything you want in the comments down below, any thoughts you have, or maybe your Shaft experiences, or maybe you want to flex on me, that's cool too, that's cool too, I have a lot of people flexing on me, man, all those posts or all those, like, things, all those tweets I made about getting Shafted, every single one, without fail, has had people flexing on me, showing me their singles, or telling me they, like, pulled the unit I wanted in, like, 10 stones, or 4 singles, all that stuff. It is what it is, man. I understand. I understand. You know, a lot of gacha games is about flexing, right? So it's it's all good. But uh, that's it, guys. I'm done. No more talking. As always, if you guys like today's video, make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too to uh, 
let YouTube know that you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. That's it, guys. I'm not quitting Dokkan. Thought about it, but I'm not quitting. And uh, hopefully you can move on from this and, uh, you know, proceed on to bigger and better things in the future. But yeah, that's all I gotta say. All I gotta say. Um, no more summons for me for a while, for sure. That's for sure. Uh, yeah, guys, have an awesome, awesome day. <laughs> Until next time, I will see you soon. Uh, I'm Tiger with Tiger Apricot Media. Signing out.